Who is this young upstart, and why is he antagonizing that dignified gray tabby gentleman? Will the old-timer put him in his place once and for all? Not everybody was happy when we adopted that fuzzy white homeless waif. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Nickel, and this is, you guessed it, the little white fuzzy kitten all grown up. It was actually an unusual adoption. Our paths first crossed on the irrigation ditch where I was walking our family dog with my son Frank. It was around dusk following a pretty good soaking rain. All of about 10 weeks old, this feline toddler had already been watching us when he called for help. We heard his short, repeated, slightly high-pitched voice from the opposite ditch bank. He wasn't panicked, but there was a tone of urgency there. It was cold out, and he was wet and small and a potential coyote snack. So whose kitten was this, anyway? He couldn't produce an ID. He didn't have a collar or a dollar. The Nickel family already had a dog, the energetic Border Collie, Miss America, and a nine-year-old established resident cat named Tony. We weren't in the market for another cat. And besides, you don't just find pets and claim ownership. Doubting that young Whitey, as he was known at the time, had arrived on the irrigation ditch by Uber, it seemed logical that he belonged to somebody in the immediate neighborhood. Door-to-door -door canvassing yielded nothing. I mean nothing. The gates were closed and locked. It was damp and nippy, and the predatory evening was young. Coyotes would certainly be making their rounds. Little Whitey, if he didn't come with us, his life would have indeed been brief. And so, we carried him home. Bright and early the next morning, we posted found white kitten signs. But after a few days of silence, we had ourselves a new kitten. Little Whitey actually needed a veterinarian. My exam and a fecal analysis revealed a smoldering upper respiratory infection and intestinal parasites. He must have seen me coming that night on the ditch. Young Whitey wasted no time exploring his new home with us. Tree climbing was an early pursuit, although it took a while for him to figure out how to return to Earth. We've gleaned a few lessons from our life with this little fuzzy white kitty. You know, we'll all be vulnerable from time to time. And in some cases, you do have to go it alone, but it's okay to ask for help. When this little fellow saw us ambling up the ditch, he didn't complain and belly ache, but he did ask for a lifeline. It was a wise choice. All but one of us in the Nickel household bonded quickly to the white kitten. Our older family cat, Tony, has found the kid positively odious from the start. He tolerates his little brother, but continues lobbying us to ship the punk off to military school. We started calling this young upstart Whitey, by the way, because, well, it was descriptive, and we only thought we'd be functioning as a short-term crisis shelter for him. Since then, he's made multiple appearances in my educational videos, but he's recently undergone a change of identity. When my sister-in-law Jane stumbled upon a distant ancestor named Gaston, it felt right to share this moniker with our cherished white kitty. I simply must make time to get him to the courthouse so we can make this name change legal. I've come to learn that we're all in this life together, regardless of race, creed, color, country of origin, or species. Trust can be a good thing. Young Gaston, giving Frank and me the opportunity to be of service, was his gift to us. and He got pulled out of the muck in the bargain. There is value in living in the moment and, and in listening. Pets can be mighty good teachers. I hope you found this tale of young Gaston to be valuable. You're welcome to share it with any of your pet-loving friends. Each week, I make a brief video, a podcast, or a blog to help bring out the best in pets and their people. You can sign up at no charge on my website, drjeffnickel.com. And when you do, I'll send you my free at-home pet first aid 
and CPR guide. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Jeff Nickel, along with Gaston. Thank you.